Congressman Jim Banks, along with local officials and business leaders, took a tour of the Electric Works campus today after a new deal to help publicly fund the project was passed. Fox 55's Caleb Saylor is live outside the GE campus and has more on what's next for that project. Caleb. Yeah, Hunter, now that the new economic development agreement is in place for the Electric Works project, the developers can move towards the closing date and an eventual groundbreaking in 2021. Now, the third district congressman, along with city council president Tom Didier and Tom Kelly, took a tour of the site today to see what work's been done so far and discuss the future of the project. But it's no secret that this project has been on has been on life support. The Electric Works project has new life now that a new commitment of $62 million is in place from the Redevelopment Commission. Congressman Jim Banks got a look at the new life today, along with City Council President Tom Didier and Tom Kelly, who he praised as part of a group that helped get a deal done. But because of the pushing by so many leaders in this community, like Councilman Didier and the, 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 the civic leaders that we have that are trying to give back and make it happen, now we're closer than ever seeing this come to a reality. Didier, who co-sponsored a bill with Councilman Glenn Hines to investigate the termination of the first economic development agreement, has said he did so to push the project forward and sees the vision of the project from the progress made so far during environmental remediation. I've been here almost all, in my whole entire life. I, you know, I, I remember the, the vibrancy of what this looked like, you know, back in the 60s and the 70s and how it, it, it slowly deteriorated. The purposes change, but the buildings are still here, and now they're going to have a different purpose. Plans for the project will still include the Do It Best HQ, a STEAM school, and other educational endeavors. But it has new partners like Tom Kelly. He says it was important for him to make sure the project got to the starting line so the community can be improved. I'm determined to do something here to help underprivileged kids. I'm not sure what that'll be, but uh, some way to offer higher education to kids that just can't otherwise have that opportunity in conjunction with the Boys and Girls Club. Now, there is still time until the closing date. That's slated for December 31st of this year, with groundbreaking set to begin January of 2020. Now, having spoken with Councilman Didier today, he did mention that it is possible that they hold off on voting to investigate the termination of the first economic development agreement until a later date this year. Reporting live in Fort Wayne, Caleb Saylor, Fox 55 News.